What's going on there guys? We back with another one and today we got Shannon Sharp speaking on Air Reed and him not continuing as the coach at Bethune Cookman. Guys, there's an interview out there on Roland Martin with Reggie Theus finally speaking out. I advise you to go check that out if you have time. But um yeah, Shannon Sharp, man, some people's gonna be divided about Shannon Sharp's stance as they are divided uh so far on Ed Reed's the way you know the way Ed Reed went about this whole thing, putting it out online. And so Shannon Sharp calls that out. He didn't agree with that. He said that Ed Reed should have went straight to admin. What I would say back to that is Ed Reed wasn't hired yet. They didn't draw his contract all the way up. So evidently he was already in discussions with um administration about that and about several things. And I'm thinking um as more comes out, it seems like Ed Reed's approach and some of the things he was about to expose was stalling the contract negotiations. Just based off uh, everything that's coming out with the players, everything else, they're showing their living conditions and everything like that. So a lot of people's not going to be happy with how Shannon Sharp said this. I'm going to play this, guys. Listen up, and I'll be back with commentary. I'm just disappointed. Well, you hear what Shannon said right there. He was like, he should have went to admin and I, he clearly has at this point for it to reach this boiling point uh you weren't getting nowhere in your negotiations so what's the next step to expose everything because you got to think about this we are hearing ed's voice right but what we are hearing past the surface level is some of the complaints of some of his football players students around the campus uh other staff members that he's forged a relationship with he's just the voice so when you hear things like this you can't just put it all on this one person is angry boom 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 he's just the one that has the courage and has the voice to speak out against these things that's what i think a lot of people's missing that it's not just um ed's feelings you know what i'm saying this is cumulative and this is you know a certain group of people that feel the same way and it was just the voice of that now check out what he said about coach prime and then i'm gonna show you why uh what shannon's about to say isn't 100 percent true because prime the other day on the live said something contrary to what shannon is about to what's say. up big bro hey i love you man you know that right yep we I talked do. about this we talked about this we know the structure, we know the order, we know how it was gonna play out. And you've been there fighting. I know what you're feeling, I know what you're going through. You got to understand, Ed, God has a time and a place for you, my brother. And I know your heart, I know everything that's going on inside of you. You know, I know you like a book. And I know how you feel about them kids and I know you do not want to leave those kids. So I'm praying for you right now, man, because this is going to be the toughest thing you ever had to do in your life. Sometimes, Ed, you got to walk away, my brother. So for one, Shannon Sharp was saying that he should talk to Prime. Well, what's the first thing Prime said in that clip? He said, we talked about this, Ed. We know the structure, Ed. So you can X that out, Shannon. They've already talked. Ed kind of knew what he was going into, and I think that's why he gave more pushback initially because Prime was probably like, don't let them do this. Don't let them get away with this up front. Tell them these are mistakes I made along the way. Uh, correct this, this, and this before you move forward with that position. So um, that's one. Two, it didn't get better for Prime. It got progressively worse. When you have... 60 something thousand people in the stands and you supposed to share uh revenue over ticket sales past 30,000 was it 30 or 40,000 and then you only showing 28,000 receipts but we can clearly see that the stadium is packed out to full capacity it's not getting better it's getting worse and coach prime said some things that they were trying to do is going to be revealed when he leaves and so that stuff we still waiting to come out we still don't know everything people was getting on his daughter because she called out jackson state and the murders that happens around near the campus yes crime everywhere for sure but it's not as likely for something to happen to them on that colorado campus even though it can it can happen to anybody um 
it's not as likely for that to happen, unfortunately, man. And that's just the mentality of people seeing, oh, you you got something I want. Let me go take that. And, and y'all confront as much as y'all want to. Y'all know coming up where we come from, no matter where you at in the U.S., if you come from a certain environment, you know people hate on you when you it look like you got a little more. You ain't even necessarily got to have a little more. People with more can hate on you. You know what I'm saying? They, they could be jealous of you for seemingly no reason. Just because they ain't you. So we have a lot of that in our community, man. And it 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 was like a power tussle going on between the admin and Dion. They didn't like that he was a bigger figure than them. But he was a bigger figure than them before he even took the job. So I don't... That was a waste of conflict right there. Prime's going to always be a bigger figure than them. <laughs> So it's just that little inner bickering. If we can get past that, I think we can start to progress towards our goals that will work for both sides. But until then, we're going to have these issues. You know, um, I want to know what you guys think in the comments about what Shannon said, though. Was he right or was he all base? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe until next time. Peace.